Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. Now today we're going to make a card and we're going to make it using the napkin technique. Now we haven't made a card for a long, long time, but we do use napkins occasionally. So I thought we could probably team them up together. So what I'm going to use is just one of these ready folded cards. Now I bought these from the works. I'll just pull the pack in. I bought a, a craft coloured brown pack and also a white pack as well to actually get the envelopes with them so they're a good good size and obviously there's the envelope that you get to go with the card itself so what we're going to do um, I'll show you how to do this I've got two cards there let me just scoot that to one side so what we're going to do to start with is we've got our base here and then what I've done is I've cut a piece of card so I'm going to use white card again and this piece of card is slightly smaller than the actual main card itself so you need a tiny little gap that goes all the way around the edge so that there and that's what we're going to cover in a napkin so I'm sure you've seen us work with napkins many many times you can get so many different patterns and designs and you think about it all the different occasions that you can get so you could do birthday ones easter ones christmas ones just by using an, a different napkin and if you want to buy napkins you can obviously look about in supermarkets and different shops and things but also on ebay they sell packs of uh, you know like four designs or something so you don't have to buy a full pack if you don't want to so I'm going to use this one here, which is this floral design. And all I've done is just cut out one of the pieces there. Now I'm hoping that's big enough. Maybe I should have gone a tiny bit more. What I can do is take a little bit off there. It should be fine. Just see if that fits on yeah that should fit fine now so what we're going to do is we're going to separate the napkin because the napkins are generally three ply and we only want we only want the top part so this is the top part that i'm just pulling off right now and there's two bits here there's two stuck there and what we're going to do is glue this on to the top of the paper now you can use different types of glue. I know that some people use Pritt stick. I don't really fancy using Pritt stick. I'm just going to put a piece of card under there. Um, so I'm going to use some, just some, it's, it's the matte finish. I think that should be fine to use. You can use wet glue as well. You can use fabric glue. I know a lot of people use that in card making. Um, and just make sure when you put it on that you get all the way to the edge that's why I've put this bit of card down because you don't want the edges curling up. So I'm going to paste that on there. Make sure I get the edges, edgy bits. And then I'm going to put the napkin over the top. So let's just move that over there so it doesn't stick to that paper and really it could do, do with being a little bit bigger than this but we'll see how we get on so we're going to put our napkin at the side there and then just gently lower it down like that now if you want to you can go over the top be careful as with any napkin because they will rip so i've just gone lightly with the uh, the mod podge i haven't gone very dark at uh, very heavy at all with it not mod podge matte finish i always call it mod podge you could use mod podge of course and then what we're going to do is just leave that to dry. While that's drying, I'm going to make the sentiment to go 
on the front of the card. So what I'm going to use, I've got a stamp here. This says um, Amazing Friend, I think, on this one. And I've also got some ink. Now, unfortunately, I can't find the black ink. So it might not be as dark as I want. But that's the, the stays on grey, the stone grey. Um, I've also got some different distress inks here as well. So what I'm doing is I've, I'm just looking at the napkin. So this is the napkin that we cut out of, uh, the bits out of. And I was just kind of looking through, seeing what colours might go. And maybe that one would go. And they do look different when you actually use them. So, you know, they might not kind of look the same so what I'm going to do is try them out on a maybe a piece of piece of paper so let's move these to one side we'll get our little blending tool let's move that over there and look at our stamp so what we need here is just a piece of plain paper get your stamp and then we're going to stamp on the um, the card. So there's our sentiment there, and that says "Amazing Friend." Let's just pick that up so you can see. And then we're just going to trim off um, around the edges. there we go so there's that I have cut it a little bit too close to the bottom there but that will be okay so now what we're going to do is to ink this because we don't want it to stick out too much because it's quite bright being white so let's put a piece of this card in here so we can use this as the background and we're going to get some of this distressed ink and we're just going to see actually I'll try the pink one first I'm just going to see what the colours come out like. So we'll dab it on on the paper. And then we're just going to dab it onto the front of the sentiment. And that just stops it being so bright and, you know, in your face, really. So you can see there just a little bit. Now, I'm going to actually try and put some of the green on, but I'm hoping I don't mess it up by using the green. So we'll just do it lightly in between just to give it a little green tinge. That's why I put the pink on first because I wanted more of the pink. So we've got that there. And then what I'm going to do is put maybe some of the, what should we use? Some tea dye. Oops, that might be quite nice around the edge. Let's um, use a little bit of that one. So we're just going to darken up the corners a little bit there you go so that is a super super quick sentiment obviously you can color them you can do all sorts but I just wanted to show you a really quick and easy way to make them so let's just pop those back in there and move these bits and pieces to the side. Right, next part of the sentiment now, we're going to back this that we've just made onto some green card. So all I'm doing to measure, actually I'll do this on the back, the bit that I'm not gonna use, that you won't see, because I'm gonna mark it. All I'm gonna do is just mark around the edge, leaving a little gap, and then we will cut that with our 
paper trimmer. And then we will use that bit. We'll just get rid of those. And then we will stick this on to there. And for that, I'm going to use some of these sticky foam pads. And these are the ones that um, are just like tiny squares, really. And I'll put some in the corners. And this just helps to give it a bit of dimension, really. So that's why we use those. You can just glue it on flat if you want to. That'll be fine. So I'll just put those there. Take that one off. Put an extra one in the middle so it doesn't dip. And we just peel these off. And then we're going to stick that on here. Now, if you want to, some gold would actually look really nice around the edge there. And I think I'm going to pop a little bit of that on. Right, so what I've done with this is I've gone round the edge here with a little bit of gold paint. So I thought that's made it stand out quite, um, quite well. So I've just used my little dabby tool and just gone around the edge. So that's our sentiment done. So now what I'm going to do is just um, see if the napkin's dry and we'll cut the excess napkin off. Right, we're, um, we're kind of dry, I think. Now, if you wanted to, you could use the, um, the paper trimmer, trimmer if it's really sharp, but I'm going to use my scissors because I don't, I don't trust it not to rip. So I'm just literally going to turn it over so I can see where I'm cutting and just go around the edge with with the scissors so what I'm going to do is that's all dry and cut I'm just going to go around the edge with a bit more of the green that's called shabby shutters so that's the distressed the Tim Holtz distressed ink so I'm just going to go a little bit around the edge there. If that's not dark enough, we can try a different one. Let's have a look what else we've got. I think I've got a dark one. This is called Forest Moss. Let's try that one because I think that other one's a little bit too light. Yeah, that's better. So we'll go with a Forest Moss one. There we go. So that's that one all done. Put those back. And what we're going to do now is stick it on to the card. So different ways you can stick it on. There's lots of wet glue that you can use for, for cards, which I think work probably a little bit better. But you can also use the sticky tape, the double-sided tape. I've got some just ordinary white sort of paper glue um, well it's clear really that I'm going to put on I've just squared it out I'm just going to put this over the back it's for paper craft but you can use whatever you know whatever you want really so it's just the lid and um, was all gunked up so that's why I can't squeeze it out so rather than waste it I'll, um, I'll use it this way bits of my fingers sticking on it just turn that over pop that on the front just hold that down a second just to stick it down and there's the front there and then we've got our sentiment now. The sentiment has come out a little bit bigger than I'd hoped. 
so placing it is going to be trickier than I thought because we've got this big flower in the middle so obviously if this flower was further down we could have had it at the top but my plan was to put it there but the flower's kind of a bit further down than I thought so I think we're just going to have to pop it there and sort of hope for the best. You can of course put some extra bits at the top here if you wanted to do that but my plan was just to put it off centre but for it to be smaller so you could see a little bit more of the stem but do you know what I still think it looks nice um, but what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to use some of the sticky pads but I'll use some bigger bits for these these are probably too big actually just chop those in half I like them when they kind of stand up a little bit I've got some cut here ready actually Okay, we'll just peel these off and stick that on the front. So as you can see, they're really quite easy to make. But I think by using the napkin, it gives us another little idea for napkins. I mean, we like using them, don't we? We use them quite a bit in various different crafts. So I thought, let's do that. So let's pop this in the middle. And there we have our napkin card and obviously then you just put your envelope with it so just reach over that will go with it like that but there we go that's a really simple greetings card it's again you can do it really with any occasion so birthdays christmas anything you can you can use and get so many different napkin designs and um, hope this technique uh, comes in useful to you guys but that's it from me i hope you're all okay um, I'm another year older. I am the grand age of 44 now. So thank you as well to everyone that sent some cards and presents. Um, lots of you didn't forget. So it's really, really kind of you. So thank you for that. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, then please do hit the subscribe button because it's completely free for you. And if you hit the bell as well, you get notified whenever I upload um, a video. But that's it for me. As I said, I hope you're all OK and doing well and enjoying this sunshine we've got here in the UK. But um, I'll sign off now and I'll see you all again soon. See you. Take care. Bye for now.